थर्टीन नवेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुर्शली अम शांति बैपतारा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन आई हैव ब्रॉट हेवन ऑन द पाम्स ऑफ माई हैंड्स फॉर यू चिल्ड्रन रिमेंबर मी एंड यू विल रिसीव द सॉवर्टी ऑफ हेवन क्वेश्चन विच चिल्ड्रन कैन एक्सपीरियंस अनलिमिटेड हैपीनेस ऑल द टाइम आंसर those who have had unlimited renunciation and have broken away from everyone else and connected themselves to the one can remain happy all the time the happiness of those who follow the father and who are interested in doing service can never disappear song leave your throne of the sky and come down to earth om shanti You sweet as spiritual children heard the song who said this the father asked the children did you hear the song people call out to him when they are in extreme sorrow you children know that only the father created the land of happiness the pure world that is he established the kingdom of gods and goddesses it is as though gods and goddesses are the masters of heaven you can see how wealthy lakshmi and narayan were and how big their kingdoms was there were no calamities in their kingdom the father gives you children such an inheritance and so you should have so much happiness however everything is number wise according to the efforts you make because of not taking the full knowledge some are not able to experience happiness either there means outside the world or here it is said that they are lost to both worlds because while claiming their inheritance from the father they fall no one in the world knows that god has come and is establishing heaven because he comes in an incognito form it is because everyone is in extreme darkness that they say that god should definitely exist here at this time when it is midnight it is said to be the extreme darkness at night it is extreme darkness and during the day it is extreme light you children know that the light of the path of devotion is now coming to an end and that there is nothing but sorrow and it people think that they will find god after performing devotion you know that only the father comes and grants salvation to everyone Your children are number wise the mercury of happiness of some remains high they also make a lot of effort in happiness they are interested in doing service and in going to explain to people and this is why baba makes arrangements for exhibitions and fairs etc therefore the mercury of your happiness can rise when you explain to others here those who have wealth think that they are sitting in heaven it is difficult for them to take knowledge this is why it is remembered that only a handful out of multi millions became sensible through a claim a right to the father's inheritance it is remembered follow the father so you have to follow the father shrimat those who follow shrimat very well also follow the father for instance this child means brahma is following him very well when his children didn't follow his advice he told them to go their own way those who follow ram's directions and those who follow ram's directions cannot stay together your children understand that the original eternal deity religion existed in bharat they took 84 births and became empire this is why they call out oh purifier come Your children understand that only a few more days now remain. It takes time to establish the deity kingdom. This is incognito. There is no question of a war and thus it isn't that you wage war against anyone and claim the kingdom. No, it is the father whom you remember as the remorse of sorrow and the pastor of happiness who comes and makes you into kings of kings. sanyasis and gurus etc cannot be remorse of sorrow 
their renunciation is limited, whereas yours is unlimited. Here, you have infinite happiness. The goddess Lakshmi and the god Narayan also have unlimited happiness. Impure human beings continue to say whatever enters their minds. Every word you speak is meaningful. In the new world, there is just one religion. It cannot be compared to anything else. Only in the old world, there can be comparisons. In the new world, you are unaware of what exists in the old world. There, you will have forgotten everything. Here, you are told everything about when the new world will establish and when the old world will be destroyed. You have all the knowledge. You have now found the father who establishes heaven. Therefore, you should claim your inheritance from him very well. Those who made effort very well in the previous cycle will receive the inheritance. They are number wise too. This is the world of thrones. Everyone has the number one throne. The old world is dirty and the new world is very good. No one knows what heaven is. They simply say that so and so became a resident of heaven. Where is the heaven that that person could become a resident of? You know that heaven existed in this Bharat. Hell is also in Bharat. Those people catch hold of these words and say that heaven and hell are both. That those who have a lot of wealth are in heaven. However, it is not like that. It was when Bharat was new that it was the golden age and it was called heaven. Now the impure world is hell. There is just the one world. The kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan exist in the new world and the kingdom of Ravan exists in the old world. God speaks, I tell you, the secrets of your 84 births. Through this Raj Yoga, I make you into kings of kings, masters of heaven. Therefore, hell definitely has to be destroyed. They have put Krishna's name in the scriptures and shown a war, etc. There is no army of the Pandavas. Nowadays, they form groups of Kumaris and mothers and teach them how to use guns, etc. Here, you don't have any guns, etc. in your hands. What do they know about who the Shiv Shakti army is? Shiv Baba can never make you commit violence. There is no question of war. You know that Shibaba's army is the spiritual army. Shibaba is making us doubly non-violent. This is called 100% non-violence. There is 100% violence that destroys so many but just one bomb. There is so much difference between unlimited non-violence and violence. You are now in unlimited silence. The more preparations they continue to make for war, the more noise they make. There is so much upheaval and destruction. For this establishment, you are sitting in such silence. There is no question of silence. This is now your practical life. You are claiming your inheritance from the father with the power of yoga. By remembering Alpha, the father, you receive the sovereignty of heaven. It is so easy. The father is the most beloved. He comes from such a distant land. When a father comes from abroad, his children are so happy because their father would have brought very good gifts for them from abroad. Thus is the unmitted father and he only comes once. What gift does he bring? He says, I have brought heaven on the palms of my hands for you. For instance, it is said that Hanuman carried on his hand the mountain top, while had the life giving hope growing on it. No one can lift a mountain. In the same way, the father says, I have brought heaven on my palms. Heaven cannot be carried on one's palm. It is a matter of understanding. Your children know that. Baba has brought the number one gift for you. The Father says, I have come to make you into the masters of the pure world, and so you have to become pure. This is Raj Yoga. Only the God of the Gita taught ancient Raj Yoga of Bharat and gave the kingdom. 
He is now once again teaching Raj Yuga. You say that you are the children of the Father who establishes heaven. The Father establishes the new world and so someone would surely receive the sovereignty. It isn't that the Father would only give to those who live in heaven. The Father gives to everyone else too. According to the drama, all the rest receive the part of liberation. Everyone becomes liberated. Only the one Father and none other is the pastor of salvation for all. You should get all the eminent people who come to your exhibitions etc. Those who truly believe that the God of the Gita is not Sri Krishna but Shiv to write something down. People only listen to what eminent people say. No one listens to the poor and this is why at the exhibitions you should try to get them to write that there is only one God of the Gita and that he is the father of all. 5000 years before today, Bharat was heaven and it was the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. Now there is the kingdom of Ravan over the whole world. He is everyone's enemy. He is born every year and yet he doesn't die. Bharat's biggest enemy now is Ravan. And you know this, now Ram, the supreme father, the supreme soul is enabling you to conquer Ravan. He says, remember me and your sins will be absolved and you will become worthy. You will then need a new world. The old world was definitely destroyed and that will happen again. The Mahabharata war took place when the kingdom of Ravan was destroyed and the kingdom of Ram established. The cries of distress begin in the kingdom of Ravan. After the cries of distress, there will be the cries of victory and the world will change. Just as an old building is demolished and a new one built and then demolished again. So establishment is taking place. In the same way, they continue to manufacture bombs etc. Preparations are taking place. Now that the Shara has come, they make an FG of Ravan. Yours is an unlimited aspect. Your intellects wonder about what they are doing. When you explain to them, they will understand what they are doing. Then they too will be amused. You can explain to anyone that such a huge Ravan cannot exist. The father says, now claim the kingdom of Ra, make the donation of the five vices and the omens will be removed. The father comes and explains that the whole world is eclipsed by the five vices. Everyone has become completely ugly. Your children should have unlimited happiness. Only a few more days remain. You now know the creator, director and principal actor and the beginning, middle and the end of the drama. No one else knows. Thus, your intellects have now become pure and clean. Now that you belong to the Father, He will definitely send you to heaven. It is said that knowledge is the source of income. This is spiritual knowledge which only the Father gives. Human beings cannot give this knowledge to human beings. In the world, it is just human beings who give knowledge to human beings. Here the Father, the Supreme Soul comes and gives you this knowledge. All the rest are those who relate tall stories of the path of devotion. There is the story of the true Narayan and of the Ramayan. They continue to make up a stories about those who existed in the past. This is a study. History and geography are taught in a study. This is what history and geography. It is huge. You explain that 5000 years ago, Baba told you that those who study the Gita don't really understand anything. You can see in a practical way who the Yadavas, Kauravas and Pandavas are. The Yadavas, the residents of Europe, invented missiles through which destruction took place. They don't show anything about what happened after destruction. They think that an Hellenization took place. They ask you whether you believe in the scriptures. Tell them, yes, we know and believe in them. But we also know that they belong to the path of devotion. 
Only the one Father, who is the ocean of knowledge, speaks knowledge. Devotion is now coming to an end, and there is to be victory of knowledge. Destruction of the old world is just ahead. It is nothing new. Our love is for the one Father. We break away from everyone else and connect ourselves to just the one. The Father says, "Consider yourselves to be souls and have yoga with me." This is called the ancient Raj Yoga of Bharat. Only the Father teaches this. Even the Krishna soul is now in his last birth. Bible tells this one: "You do not know your own births. This is the last of your many births." This is why I have entered him. I sit in this one to make you children into the mouth-born creation of Brahma and give you your fortune of the kingdom. No one apart from the Father can tell you this. The Father tells you everything Himself with this mouth. This Baba didn't know anything previously. You also didn't know anything. How the cycle. Of the eighty-four births, turns has to be explained to the people of Bharat. This is the same war through which the gates to heaven opened when the Father came and taught you Raj Yoga and made you into deities from human beings. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point: follow those who observe Shri Mat very well. In order to stay in unlimited happiness, do the service of making others equal to yourselves. Second point: have a loving intellect. Break away from everyone else and connect yourselves to the One Father. Become doubly non-violent. Sit in silence and establish your own kingdom. Blessing. May you uplift others and transform karmic bondages into relationships with the awareness of your birth in which you have died alive. Explanation. Because this is the birth in which you have died alive. Your family. Relationships of karmic bondages are now the basis of relationships of service. On the basis of Shrimad, it is not a karmic bondage, but a relationship of service. If you move along while doing service with the knowledge of the variety of souls, you will not then be distressed by any bondages. Moreover, instead of feeling hatred or dislike for extremely sinful souls and souls. Who harm others? Be merciful, and do service with the feelings of mercy, considering it to be a relationship of service. You will then be remembered as a well-known world benefactor and one who uplift others. Slogan: If your disinterest depends on time or circumstances, that is temporary disinterest. Therefore, become one. Who has this interest all the time? Om Shanti.